Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Today we're going to be working on number four on the FTC General Knowledge Practice Test. This is a great problem if you're a teacher preparing for a teacher certification exam and need a review of core math concepts. We're going to be talking about how to find the area of irregular polygons. So uh, let's look at the problem and we'll talk about um, what an irregular polygon is. It says estimate the area of the figure in the diagram. Now this figure, it's a closed shape. So anything that's a closed shape we call a polygon. It's irregular because the sides, you know, the sides and angles are different. So we could call this a figure on the diagram or we could call it an irregular uh, polygon. They mean the same thing. Also notice uh, this figure is, lo is located on a grid. So this grid is going to be very helpful. It's going to help us identify, you know, measurements if we want to divide it into rectangles and triangles. Um, you could find the base and the height of the triangle or the length and the width of the rectangle. So it's very uh, important that you make sure that the figure's on a grid. So all the measurements are, uh, everything is, you know, lined up proportionally. If it is on the grid, you can use a, another strategy called Pick's Theorem. Pick's theorem is a great formula to use to help you find out the area of irregular polygons. Um, it's, it works every time, and, and here's how it goes. You look for the border points. These are these points here that are on your grid that actually intersect on the grid with the lines. And you, you take the border points, you divide them by two, and then you add the inside points. These are the points found inside the figure. And then you subtract one, and you're going to get an, the area. Now we're going to do this quick, and we're just going to get an approximation of the area. That approximation should help us um, do this without doing too much calculations. So first, I'm going to count up the border points. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, do I count this? Yeah, actually we do, this would, be, uh, this would be included. So it's actually 13. 13 divided by two plus the inside points. Now, what are the inside points? I gotta go back, I gotta count these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now we included this one on the border, so we don't include it on the inside. So I get 15 border points here, I mean inside points, and then I'm going to subtract one from that. So 13 divided by 2 is 6.5 plus our 15 minus 1. This would be like 21.5 minus 1 would get you roughly 20.5. Uh, now, my answer is approximately 21.5. Now, if I look at the answer choices, the only answer choice that comes close is 20. This will work for all types of figures on, on grids like this. So if it's, you could, it could, the question could be asking what is the area of the figure or what is the area of the irregular polygon, doesn't matter. If it's on a grid, you can use this formula, Pick's Theorem, one half the half of the base I and mean, half of the border points plus the inside points minus one and you'll always get to the area you'll get to a really good approximation of the area and enough to pick the answer just make sure you correctly identify all the border points and you very carefully identify all the inside points all right okay team i hope you found this video helpful on picks theorem have a wonderful amazing day and uh take care okay thank you Bye bye Hi team, I want to encourage all teachers that need some extra help on the math to check out one of the Go Math workshops. We're holding them in Massachusetts and in Florida to help teachers uh, get ready for the teacher certification exams. Check it out, I'm sure you'll find it very helpful. Mm -hmm.